In this video, I'm going to go over the shipping settings you can configure for WooCommerce in Flatsum. So to get to the shipping settings here, uh, once you log into your dashboard on your left-hand sidebar here, you're going to click WooCommerce and you're going to click Settings. Then lastly, the Shipping tab, which is the fourth in here. So it'll start you off on shipping zones. If you haven't added any before, you can just hit this button right here, Add a Shipping Zone. Uh, shipping Zone is a location that a customer would be coming from. So for our example here, I'm going to type in Texas. And then the zone region. So now I'm going to select Texas here. So this is the name of the zone here. So this is just for our reference. And then this is the actual region that the customers will be coming from. So anywhere in Texas, these shipping methods will apply. So we can add a shipping method here. There's three types here. We can do a flat rate, which is whenever we hit add a shipping method. We can edit it then. And this is how we change the cost of the flat rate. So if it generally costs about $10 to send a package anywhere in Texas, we make that $10. No matter, no matter what they order, uh, shipping will always be $10. So I can hit Save Changes. And then we have free shipping, which means that uh, customers will have free shipping um, no matter what. This could be triggered with coupons or maybe a minimum spend threshold. So if we hit this shipping method and hit Edit, we can see that free shipping requires that we can do a couple things here. So maybe it's a free shipping coupon that you send out in an email blast. Maybe it's free shipping over orders uh, for orders over $50. And then we can do some combinations here. We could do a minimum order amount or a coupon. Or if for some reason you really wanted it to be strict, you could say a minimum order amount and a coupon. So that's a really good way to incentivize people to spend a little bit more on your site or people to sign up for your email blasts or another service like that. So we can hit save changes on this. And the last shipping method here that we can add here is local pickup. So this is for items you're not able to ship out. This is a uh, um, so, for example, generally, like food service would use local pickup. It's called curbside pickup, which is where they'll come to your location and you give them the goods. So once we're happy with the way these look, we can change our shipping options. Shipping options just provide a couple little detailed options that allow you to change the way shipping is handled on your site. So we can enable the shipping calculator on the cart page. Um, this is whenever users are going to go check out, they can see how much their shipping will cost. They can see their shipping options. They can see, uh, see uh, make it work the way they want it to work. We can hide the shipping costs until an address is entered. This is to ver uh, make sure that users aren't seeing the wrong shipping prices because of course shipping is more expensive to different locations. So if you're coming from Texas to Pennsylvania, for example, that'll generally be a little more expensive than if somebody lived in Oklahoma, which is a little bit closer, so it's a little bit less in shipping. So until they enter an address, maybe don't show any shipping information, but that's totally up to you. And the shipping destination here, um, the default is to go to the customer billing address, but if you want to go to the customer shipping address, you can do that as well. So uh, whenever you default it to the customer billing address, it makes them only enter one. Um, but we can also force shipping to the customer billing address, which doesn't even give them the option to enter a shipping address. Um, but generally, you want to default it to the customer shipping address just because if for some reason they're using a card or using a payment method that doesn't have the same billing address as the shipping address, this is where they can enter that separate information in here. Then lastly, this is the debug mode. You'll never have to use this feature. Uh, that's just for us. Just in case something goes wrong, we can go in and see what's going on with your shipping settings, making sure they're all good through our troubleshooting steps. Lastly, here we can edit some shipping classes. You can see I made a test class. Um, shipping classes are pretty nice. Um, so for example, if we have large items, we can do that. And then a slug, this will be the uh, URL for them, so we can just do large. And then the description uh, items over 20 pounds. So then once we hit save, then in our storefront, we can add items to this shipping class. So whenever we're working on more shipping rules and more shipping zones over here, we can see that whenever we select the flat rate, we can see if the item is a large item, Maybe don't make it $10, maybe make it $15 because the United States Postal Service or your preferred shipping provider charges more for large items. So that's a good way to make sure that you're not accidentally charging too little in shipping and you're not able to cover those shipping costs to get the items to the customer. 
So once you're happy with all your shipping settings, you can hit save changes. And those settings will go across your store and uh, your store will use those settings from there on out. If you have any questions or if you're confused by the shipping settings, please let us know. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.